Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Tim Tora coming at you, and today is Thursday, December 7th, 2017. Continuing on my family's trip to Orlando at the end of October. And on Wednesday, November 1st, we did go to Epcot, which is uh, my favorite place at Disney World. And they're having the, they were having the International Food and Wine Festival, so we'll get into it and show you the full lot of it. Here I am substituting for Vanna White. And then you have Mickey doing some grilling here. So this first dish comes from the Wine and Dine studio. So it has a little bit of wine influence, of course. And I believe that each dish can be paired with a wine, but I don't drink alcohol almost exclusively at all. So that doesn't matter to me. So let's get into the food. Now this is pulled duck confit, which of course is French, where duck confit is typically braised in duck fat or it could be olive oil. Uh, but anyway, it's served with cannellini bean ragu and Zinfandel reduction. Okay, now this dish was just okay. As, as good as it looks, it was just okay. And it was lacking in something. So now we move on to the great state of Hawaii and uh, the Food and Wine Festival is cool because they have all kinds of huts and food stands and things like that to make it really stand out. And this is Hawaii's Kalua pork slider which is served with a sweet and sour dull pineapple chutney and spicy mayonnaise. And this was a good dish and it did have a little crunch. And after Hawaii, Stephanie and I flew west around the world to Thailand. And this is Thailand's marinated chicken, which is served with peanut sauce and stir-fried vegetables. And this dish was not bad, but nothing to write home about. But after Thailand, I wanted to brush up on my Espanol. So we went across the street to Mexico. So this is Mexico's gluten-free ribeye taco, which is marinated ribeye, roasted chipotle sauce, and grilled scallions on a corn tortilla. And this taco, folks, was so weak because it was blah and bland. And this stuff hurts me to report because I love Epcot. Epcot is fabulous. It's got some good restaurants. And the last food stop is Active Eats, where the food is a little bit different from typical uh, cuisine from around the world. This loaded mac and cheese is with Nooski's pepper bacon, cheddar cheese, peppers, and green onions. And it, it was not bad. It was a pretty good amalgamation of all of the flavors. And as you know, it had pepper, so it had a little bit of heat, but it was nothing to write home about. So this was my take on Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. The 22nd year was this year, 2017. And I think Stephanie kind of agreed with me that it was just nothing to write home about. And I was in such a desire to get a good restaurant meal at Epcot after doing this, because it just wasn't there. Uh, you would have such high hopes to go to Epcot for the Food and Wine Festival and be impressed or blown away or what have you. Uh, but it just didn't happen. So that's what I have to report for you this morning so far. As always, I thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments that you like. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, and what you'd like to see. Share. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day today, which is Thursday, December 7th, 2017. Thanks very much for watching and take care. Bye-bye.